Hey guys, this is going to be a short tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to add a vintage style filter to your photographs or images. You may have seen something similar or this, the same to it on Instagram if you've got it. Just in case some of you don't know what the um, vintage sort of filter looks like, I'm going to put one on screen for you now. What you're going to do is get an image that you want to use. You can find this one that I'm using here is in my GFX pack, which you can find it on one of my other videos if you've not downloaded it already. It's there on stock images, nature and landscape. So what you're going to do first is like that, go to this little icon here um, and go to levels. Once that's opened you want to change the RGB, change that to blue and then where it says output levels here, you want to drag the black one to around halfway, somewhere around 110. That will just make the shadows on the image blue to the black. So you can close that. And again you're gonna click this, no you're not gonna click that this time, you're gonna go to image, no layer sorry, new layer style and not new layer style, new fill layer and go to solid colour. Just click OK on that and then when it comes up with this you're gonna go to try and get like a light tan sort of colour. So it'll be something around around that no maybe a bit lighter. Drag it over to the lighter side. So it's something like that. Once you've done that, set that layer to multiply. And then for the last thing that you're gonna do, you're gonna click this little icon down here again, and you're gonna add a curves layer. And this sort of varies for different images, like where the lighting is and stuff like that. So um, just try and drag it with, try and get at least three points on it or something like that. And just drag these points to different areas and you'll eventually get something that looks similar to this one like there's no re there's no really w real way of explaining how you do this you just sort of drag the points around and hopefully you'll get something around this like I've got on the screen here um, so that's it so I hope this has helped everyone thanks for watching if you've got any suggestions for any other videos just post them in the comments down below